haven't god this is gonna sound really well but okay <laughs> good morning everyone happy tuesday here in new zealand is 7 50 in the morning jack woke up around 6 30 and left for work at 7 i've been up since then just beat up my phone <sighs> with the socials you know just went on to my youtube holy smokes you guys last time i checked we were only at 317 subscribers now we're at 326 just from overnight what the heck <laughs> so cool you guys have all been so sweet i was just looking at all the comments and i can't wait to reply to you guys i'm your love and support means so stinking much to me so thank you for sending me all of the warm wishes and just an abundance of love like i can totally feel it and it's pretty amazing so yeah, so I gotta get a move on at 7.51. I'm just gonna make myself some coffee and go to Me Bella's Reformer Pilates class. So I'm very excited for that to catch up with my friend that I made out here the last time I was here. She's amazing, amazing yoga teacher, amazing Pilates teacher, and beautiful mama of two beautiful boys. So it's gonna be really lovely to catch up with her, maybe grab a coffee in between her classes because she is like, she's been, I think she teaches like five classes today or something. And that's like that. So very excited to be able to take a class. I didn't do any like massive movement yesterday, so it's gonna hurt today. So yeah, I'm just gonna have some water, drink some coffee. I'm really excited. I found a organic health food store here on the North Shore of Auckland. It was literally like a wonderland for me as soon as I walked in. Like it was beautiful with just like all these organic and gluten-free products and just like whole foods just delicious so I spent a pretty penny there. <laughs> the thing that I'm most excited about I got this like mushroom powder tea thing it has like chaga mushroom lion's mane a bunch of different adaptogens and you literally just use like a fourth of a teaspoon into like any drink that you want you can drink it just on your own but i put it in this like turmeric latte mix that i got at that same place and it was delicious but your girl needs some coffee i think i'm gonna try to wean off of coffee again i've just been so like addicted to it so Last time I did that though, I only lasted two days and I had a massive headache, <laughs> couldn't do it. So ah, we'll see. They also had my favorite oat milk brand at the store. So that was awesome. It's Oatly, the stuff that I get at home. So that was lovely and it was on sale, even better. I've just been having trouble finding organic produce here in Auckland. I don't know if that's like a real thing or if I'm just not looking hard enough. Maybe because I've only been really shopping at Pack and Save and I know Countdown has like a little section but it's nothing like extraordinary. So um, if any of you Auckland natives know of any really awesome organic produce stores or sources, please let me know. I'm in dire need. <laughs> I really prioritize eating organic whole foods. It's just what makes me feel really good and makes me like the happiest. So yes, please, please drop in your suggestions. I do love the Takapuna farmer's market that happens on Sundays, but for the next like four weekends or something, Jack and I are going to be gone. <laughs> so that's a little bit of a bummer just because I love going to the farmer's market. One, it's cheap and a lot of the foods are spray free. So that's great and that's when I usually do like a whole produce shop and then I just get the rest at Pack and Save. And Pack and Save does have a lot of organic stuff, just not fresh produce. It's just mostly like, you know, canned beans and stuff, which is amazing. But I mean, I'm needing some fresh, fresh organic produce. So let me know. So yeah, I'm just going to go upstairs, make some coffee. I think I'm the only one in the house right now. It's hard to tell when you're living with four other Navy boys. <laughs> So far it's been good, so I'll check in with you. Maybe I'll do like a little B-roll of me making coffee. I don't know, I really do love our kitchen. We have a lovely balcony and it's, it looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day today and Jack's supposed to get off of, of work early again. <laughs> so very excited about that. Yeah, alrighty, I'll talk to you whenever I'm doing something else. <laughs>
is currently getting me ice cream when I get the ice cream. So we are now experiencing another gorgeous day here in New Zealand. As you saw, I just did a really beautiful intuitive flow. It felt amazing before I did a little meditation and breath work. 
and you might have saw that I got emotional. I haven't, God, this is gonna sound really weird, but I haven't given thanks to my ancestors, my spirit guides, just to great spirit or, you know, God, the universe, whatever you believe in, aliens, I don't really care, but whatever you believe in, that life force, I haven't given thanks to in a while and I've just been experiencing so many blessings within my life recently and so I just felt so compelled to sit on my mat and begin my practice with just breathing in a sense of gratitude and just awareness that not only that like I've created this reality that I am now living but I have also been giving the guidance from my higher self which is also connected to great spirit, spirit guides, ancestors, whatever you believe in. But I just felt so compelled to share my thanks and gratitude and just dedicate that practice to this all-knowing experience that I have just been breathing in every day. So I wanted to do a little card reading and a um, little journaling. And man, it felt really good to connect. Just feeling that over overwhelming sense of profound gratitude was just... It definitely made me emotional and not in a bad way but it was just like this you know when you get emotional when you just experience something of such beauty grace and just I, it's just profound gratitude like I don't know how else to explain it so that was amazing I feel really good I'm about to make a smoothie but just wanted to check in because in a few hours and two and a half hours I will be teaching for the farm studio back home will be teaching bar so that's gonna be really cool that I can live stream that and see some familiar faces from back home and get a good sweat on so I am incredibly sore from my Pilates class that I took yesterday so <laughs> It's gonna be a little interesting teaching a high-intensity workout today, so But it's okay. So I'm just gonna film a little bit of that later and I'll probably edit this video and get it up to you guys by tonight and Yeah, I think next video I'm going to just make a sit-down video of me chatting to you about manifestation and just like my techniques what I've learned and certain ways that I step into that spiritual I guess mode vibe I don't know whatever you want to call it a lot of people have been sliding into my Instagram DMs about it and commenting on YouTube videos about how the heck I do it what's my method all that stuff and I'll dive into that really deep in next video I think that'll be a good idea and then I think I'm gonna start like I said before in my last video start posting more yoga content just because that is my absolute first love and it's definitely been the gateway drug to all other things spiritual so any way that I can be at service to you guys in order to connect to your inner divinity and higher self is incredible and I would love to be some sort of vessel for that so yep thanks for tuning in uh, I will check in with you soon Bye. here we go breathe so I'm just gonna flip sides so you can see what the heck I'm doing. I hope everyone can hear me. Hope we are all still alive and well. Here we go. So coming down. Now this time, 